let's say for this trick, I start off by giving the deck just a little shuffle like this, and then we can have the participant take out any card they would like. So let's say we go through the deck and the participant uh, selects this card. I don't want to see it, so I'm going to show it to you. I hope you can see that. And go ahead and remember that card for me. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is take about half the deck, and I'm going to leave it face up on the table. We're going to take your card one more time right here. Leave it face down on top of the face up, and then the rest of the cards go face up right on top of your card. So now my goal here is to see if I can get your card to turn the opposite way out of all of the other cards. So in this case, let's see if I can get your card to turn face up out of face down. With just a little riffle of the deck, if we spread through the cards, you can see here one card is face up out of all the face down, and it should be, in this case, your selection, the ace of clubs, which is pretty good, but we're going to take this a step further. We're going to go ahead, take your card, and let's say the participant calls out stop. Place your card right there participant pushes in their card, and now I'm going to try to do the same trick, but this time the cards are going to be face up, so then your card would be face down. So with just a secret move like this, if I spread through the cards now, you can see all face up cards except one face down card. I'm also going to show you from the top here now, all of the cards are face down. None of them are face up. So for the first time participant, name your selected card out loud, the Ace of Clubs. Watch this. A-C-E spells Ace. O-F spells clubs, C-L-U-B-S, ace of clubs, indeed, the ace of clubs, and that is the trick. If you would like to learn how to do this, please stick around for the tutorial, before I get into the tutorial, the cards I am using are the black and white butterfly cards. I have a deck review on these, which I will link in the description. I also won these as part of a brick giveaway from Sean Devine. I'm going to link that unboxing and Sean's channel in the description, so you can go ahead and uh, watch him or subscribe to him. So let's go ahead now, and as always, the original video I learned this from will be in the description, as well as the channel. So in this case, card mechanic. <clears throat> so for this uh, trick, you're going to need one thing. In this case, you're going to need a double backer. So... I might have a video, I'm not too sure though, going over cards I own that come with double backers. If I do, I will post that in the, de in the description. So what you can do is purchase a deck that comes with a double backer, or you can take, for example, two jokers, make sure they have the matching back design as the rest of the deck, Put a small strip of double stick tape right in the middle, take the other joker, put these face to face, 
obviously make sure that tape sticks and then you have yourself a, a, a homemade double backer. So, the only real setup for this is going to be the double backer on top of the deck. So, starting off like I did, I did a false shuffle, and you can add in some false cuts as well. It's not necessary, but I will link those in the description. What you're going to do now is have any card selected except the double backer, okay? So you can do a couple of things here. You can have them cut the deck, and then they can take either this card or this card. You can uh, riffle down the deck. They say stop, and you can do the same thing. You could dribble the cards, and then they say stop, and you do the same thing. I'll leave a link for the dribble. You could do a one-hand fan, have them select any card. I'll leave a link for the fan. Or you can just spread out all of the cards, keeping your thumb on the double backer. There are plenty of ways you can go about it, and probably the last way you just want to be careful with this is catch a break above the two bottom cards here, so the double backer and that first face-up card. So now when you do spread the cards, they can name any card, and you won't flash the double backer. If they name the card above the double backer, all, what I would recommend doing is just a risk kill. So, exposed, you would turn your wrist and then do the move, but all you're going to do is push off the card. You would keep your hand like this, turn these face down, and put the card on top. It doesn't matter how you do it. So let's go ahead now and actually get into this. So they're going to have a card selected. While they're looking at their card and remembering it, you're going to take about half the cards from the top. Okay, doesn't have to be half. It's good if it is, though. Turn these face up, and before you set them right on top of the deck, because I still have a break here, Riffle that bottom card, which is the double backer, and then set the deck down. So they look at their card and they remember it, the nine of clubs. Their card goes face down on top of a face up half, meaning when you say you're going to turn this half face up and put it on top, well now you're just putting that double backer right next to your card or their cards, so now you have two face-down cards. Obviously, you wouldn't show that, but in this case, I am for the tutorial. So now you want to explain how you're going to get their card to be the only face-up card in the face-down half. So do anything you would like, and then you're going to spread through. And you're going to show them the 9, and then you can spread the rest of the cards. You're going to go to their selection, and what you're going to do, because now this card is the double backer, you're going to take all of the cards on top of the 9, that covers the 9, or right next to the 9, and cut them to the bottom. Or in other words, take the 9 and all the cards underneath it and move them to the top. So now, once again, you have your 9 and your double backer. So all you're going to do now is a double lift to turn the 9 over, okay? I will link some double lifts in the description. A couple of things you want to sell here. So when you turn over the 9... They're going to expect to see the back design, obviously, because you say, here, let's take the 9. So if you turn it over, they're going to see the back design. Now, if you have the double backer in here, this is nice. 
because they still see the back design, except this is the double backer. But let's say you take the 9 and then a random card and you say let's turn over the 9. Well, now they're going to see a different card, so it's not going to look good. So really, you're selling that you're turning over the 9 and you're going to lose it in the middle, when in reality, you're keeping the 9 on top and putting that double backer in the middle. So I turn it over, here's the double backer, here's the 9. So I take it, I have them call stop, push it in, and now you say, okay, I'm now going to get the 9 to turn a different way out of the rest of the cards. So any secret move or move in general you want, all I did was turn my wrist over, I bring it in, and then my hand comes over like this, and I just move the cards out. This is the important part. You're going to go through, <clears throat> and you're going to spread until you see that double backer. Once you see this double backer, which they think is the 9, don't spread anymore, because then it won't make sense for the next part. And plus, the 9 is on the bottom. You don't want to flash it. So you say, okay, let's go through and see what card we have face down. This case, the 9, which they think it is. It's the double backer. You're going to leave it there. Turn the cards face down and say, okay. Let me show you from the top now that all of the cards are face down. The 9 is on top. So, in the action of showing them, you're now going to do this secret move. So, in your head, when you're peeling off cards, you're going to be using one card for each letter to spell out their card. So, you would go N, I, N, E. Nine has four letters, so we have four cards. A letter for each card. I hope that makes sense. But when you're explaining, as you can see here, all of the cards are face down, like the performance, all I'm doing is spelling their card, nine of clubs. And then I stop. Because they pretty much saw the whole deck. So what you're going to go is like this. So in this case, as you can see, all of the cards are face down. None of the cards are face up. I just spelled nine of clubs. I plopped these on top. Now I would recommend doing a false shuffle and or false cut. Once again, link in the description. But now you can ask them what was their card, the nine of clubs, and you're going to spell N-I-N-E-O-F-C-L-U-B-S, nine of clubs, indeed the nine of clubs. And that is pretty much uh, the trick. I will go over that one more time really quick, just because I did spend more time on how to choose a card than the actual trick. So, really quick tutorial, one more time. You have the double backer on top. You do some false shuffles and or cuts optional to keep it on top. You have any card selected except the double backer. While they're remembering their card, you're going to take about half the cards from the top, turn these face up, and before you line them up, you're just going to riffle that bottom card and set the deck down. They're going to take their card, the Queen of Diamonds, put this face down on top, and then take the rest of the cards in your hand, turn these face up, and put them on top. Turn the deck face down, and now you explain how you're going to get their card to be the other direction out of all the other cards. 
do any move you want, and you're gonna spread through. When you get to their card, take all of the cards you just spread and move them to the bottom. You're now gonna have to catch a break under the queen and the second card, the double backer. So you could do a pinky count like I just did, which I will link in the description as well. So you're gonna do a double lift, take their card, and they're gonna call out stop, and you're gonna place it about middle, or where they say stop. They push in the card, and you say, okay, I'm gonna get your card to now be the other direction out of all the face-up cards. If you want to do some sort of magical move, you're going to spread through showing their card isn't here and all of the cards are face up. When you get to this card they think is theirs, it's the double backer, you're going to stop. You're going to turn the deck over and now you're going to spell Queen of Diamonds in your mind, one card for each letter. At the same time, while explaining and showing how all of the cards are face down. So you would go Q U E E N O F D I A M O N D S. And you will be saying, as you can see here, all of the cards are face down, none of them are face up while you spell. Throw these on top of the deck. At this point, it's optional, but I would recommend a false shuffle or cut. Ask them their card, the Queen of Diamonds, and you can go, or the participant can. It really doesn't matter. Q U E E N O F D I A M O N D S. What was your card? The Queen of Diamonds, indeed, the Queen of Diamonds. And that is the trick. So I hope you really enjoyed this one. If you are new here, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye!